Hi all, and welcome to the next installment of the Connect AR tutorial series. Today we will be covering component placement, the placement workflow designed specifically for fabricators to perform a visual QA QC check. The first step in this workflow is to isolate the component you are wanting to see from the rest of the model. To do this, enter in the unique ID associated with that part, such as the assembly ID here. This is an exact match, so you will need to put the complete code in. You can bring up the attribute dialog to confirm that this is the component you are after and move to the next step. If you have a QR marker already placed on that component, you can then place it using marker placement. Although this takes more time to set up as you need to place the marker and then print it off, we do recommend this workflow as the marker placement is the most accurate workflow in Connect AR. For best results, ensure your QR marker is completely flat against the surface it is placed on. If you do not have a QR marker, you will then move to three point placement. You'll first need to roughly align the model to the real world using the three adjustment modes on the right. You can also double tap on the face of the component and it will flip that face 90 degrees towards the floor. From here, we will now measure three pairs of points on both the model and the real world. For best results, ensure you look at the points from different angles to make sure that they are in the correct position. You can see here that the first point wasn't in the right place initially, so I'm going to re-measure it. I'm then going to measure the same point on the component and do the same thing for two more pairs. Once that's complete, your three-point placement is also. If your three-point placement is slightly off, you can re-measure a point by tapping on the red dot. This allows you to re-measure the model point for that pair. To completely remove the placement, tap and hold on the top left corner of the screen on the component placement icon. One thing to note is that the search feature in this workflow is driven by assembly selection mode in Trimble Connect. As you can see here, turning on assembly selection results in the additional parts in this assembly being highlighted, not just the initial object selected. This logic is applied to the highest level assemblies within your model's data structure and will group objects based on a universal assembly property. This means that if your component is missing parts when you are looking at it in Connect's 3D viewer, it is more than likely to be missing them in Connect AR too. Please see the Trimble Connect AR user guide for more information about how different modeling software is treated in Trimble Connect. 